The Fisherman and His Wife, retold and illustrated by Rachel Isadora. The Fisherman and His Wife, which was originally written by the Brothers Grimm. I like the art in this book. Long ago, there was a fisherman who lived with his wife in a pigsty by the sea. One day, the fisherman caught an unusually large flounder. Please, spare, spare my life. I am not a fish. I'm an enchanted prince, the flounder begged. While well, surprised that the fish could speak, the fisherman let him go. When the fisherman arrived home, his wife asked for the fish that she would cook for dinner, and the fisherman told her about the flounder. Did you not wish for anything before you let him go? she asked. What would I possibly wish for? the fisherman said. We live in a place that is small and stinks. Go tell that enchanted flounder I want a hut, the wife insisted. The sea was stirring when the fisherman returned flounder. My wife has a wish, he called out. What is it? The flounder asked as he swam near the shore. A hut. The fisherman answered, go then. She has it already, the flounder said. When the fisherman arrived home, his wife said, husband, isn't this much better? Yes, the fisherman answered. Now we will be happy. And they were for a few days until the wife said, this hut is still too small. Go, husband, and tell the flounder, I want a stone castle. Well, the fisherman knew this was not right, but he did not want to argue, so he went. The sea was green and murky when the fisherman called to the flounder that his wife had another wish. What does she want now? The flounder asked. Alas, she wants a stone castle, the fisherman called. Go then, she has it already, the flounder said. When the fisherman arrived home, his wife asked, is this not beautiful? Yes, the fisherman said, now let us be content. The following morning, the wife decided, we should be king of all the land. But I don't wanna be king, the fisherman said, then I will be. Go tell the flounder, I must be king, the wife said. So the fisherman left with a heavy heart. The sea was dark and frothy when the fisherman went to the flounder that his wife had another wish. What does she want now? The flounder asked. To be king, the fisherman said, frightened. Go home. She is king, the flounder said. The fisherman went home and said, Now, wife, there is nothing more to wish for. Hmm. I am king and you are nothing but my husband. Go tell the flounder, I want to be emperor over all the lands, his wife ordered. <gasps> the sea was black and boiled up from deep below. The fisherman trembled when he called to the flounder. What does she want now, the flounder asked. To be emperor, the fisherman called. Go, she is emperor, the flounder called back. The wife was emperor. Are you not satisfied now? The fisherman asked. No, the wife said. I am emperor now, but I want to be pope too. Go immediately and tell the flounder. The sea roared as it rose higher and higher and the fisherman was very afraid when he called out to the flounder. What does she want now? The flounder asked. To be pope. The fisherman answered. She is pope, the flounder shouted. When the fisherman arrived home, he said, Wife, you are Pope. Now let well enough alone. But as the sun rose in the morning sky, the wife said, I want to be God. Go tell the flounder at once. The fisherman was horrified. I cannot ask the flounder to do this, he begged. But his wife flew into a rage. So the fisherman left. <sighs> The sea rose with waves as high as mountains when the fisherman called out. What does she want now? The flounder shouted. She wants to be God, the fisherman called out. Go to her, the flounder said. When the fisherman arrived home, there was the old pigsty and beside it was his wife.
And that is where the fisherman and his wife lived from that day on.